Leo to your August 16th through the 24th reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, my friends, let's see what's going on with you. Thank you everyone for being here. Welcome all new subscribers. Okay, let's see. You have the faded meeting coming in. And because you have so much love going on over here, I just want you to know that it really does look like you have this new love coming in. Someone is passionate about you. You are passionate about them. It is a faded meeting. You probably don't even know. You either don't know who this person is or you know who it is, um, but you're waiting. I feel like, you know, no matter what, there's a waiting game for you to run into this person or you are waiting for this to happen, right? Um, the thing I love about this is the Akashic field because it is saying you are in synchronized time. Your perfect timing is right around the corner. It is actually increased in time um, because this says that with the Akashic field going on, the energy that you are putting out, if you are manifesting, you are doing a wonderful job, okay, because it is the energy around this whole situation, this fading meeting has actually accelerated in energy and time. That's crazy, right? So it means there's an acceleration. Things are moving at a faster pace. Okay, so it's like right around the corner. Um, with the bird's nest over here, this shows that you could have just gotten out of a divorce or they could have gotten out of divorce. There was some kind of separation um, with a past love, something of this nature. Okay, or it is showing that you guys are at a distance from each other and you're waiting for this perfect meeting, this perfect timing to get together. It could even be two in one. Uh, I love this one over here, too, because this says that they're the queen, the queen of keys. This is a person who is a self-made person. Uh, this person is building their ladder. This person is a well-accomplished person who is climbing the ladder, climbing the ladder. They could be their, an entrepreneur. They own their own business, something of this nature. Or they just made, they're self-made in their own ways, right? They've had promotions. They've, they've worked their buns off. Um, so... Male or female, it doesn't matter, right? This person puts in a lot of effort and a lot of work at what they're doing, okay, when it comes to the job area. Okay, so let's see what we have over here with this queen of roses. Just talking about a lot of passion, a lot of love, them coming towards you. And at an accelerated speed because it's saying this has picked up momentum. This is coming quick. Oh, let me see what that says exactly in the card. Let's see. Because I'm telling you that's what it means. Tells you that an amazing opportunity is about at this time. You can increase and accelerate your experience by opening the doors. Yeah, see? They are moving towards you. Now is the time. The universe is ready and willing to align you with your heartfelt desires. And now is the time to make things happen. As your intentions are at accelerated speed. So you are aligned with the universe. Engaging with pursuit with conscious focus. So whether it's you who are, well, you both have to be aligned because it's a fading meeting. So they are finally at the same alignment that you're at. You guys have to be at the same alignment. So, wow. No matter what, this is destinedly done, fadedly done. So it's just meeting and it's kind of like you two are meeting in the middle. And because you're both now at the same, the same frequencies, now it has picked up speed. Wow. That is so cool. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. Queen of Roses, give it to us for the beautiful Leos. for Leo on the Queen of Roses and the Apostle Field. Getting the bigger picture, overcoming the challenges of the King of Wands. Could be another fire sign or have a lot of fire in their chart. Doesn't have to be, but there's that entrepreneur. There's that, you know, me being the entrepreneur, me being, you know, becoming my own leader. 
very career focused, a very mature person, a person who has overcome many challenges. Maybe that's what it is too. Maybe they have, you know, home family issues as well, overcoming some kind of separation or divorce or something as well, but they see the bigger picture and it feels like they are moving, they are moving really fast towards you. You guys are moving fast towards each other, manifesting. Whether you're manifesting this or they manifested this, you guys are manifesting each other. More than anything, because it's a faded meeting, um, souls are probably calling each other out. We see that a lot. Um, with the skill development, ambitions, this is talking about how you also are skill, you know, you have a lot of skill development. You have a lot of financial opportunities that are also coming towards you. Um, but you also see this love interest. But I think that the thing is, is that you both work so much that you might not really see it really coming to you. Oh, this is going to be like one of those happy surprises. You guys are both working so hard, you're not going to really see it happening until, boom, it's right in your face. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of passion and a lot of inspired energy going on over here in action. With the bird's nest over here. <clears throat> Clarify on the bird's nest, please. Yeah, Justice, a lot of you, there's a divorce, some kind of separation going on. It could even be legal separation, um, something of this nature. Uh, but there was a lot of truth and clarity going on within the bird's nest over here. Um, there had to be things that were justified within your life. Um, to get to the point that you are now or them, um, however it is. But you're waiting for the balance more than anything, right? Balance out your life, balance out your home, balance out the things that you needed within your life so that you could get to the law and effect, you know, that uh, faded meeting, get to this destined area of your life, right? There could have been, for some of you, some chaos going in with the bird nest. There could have been, you know, uh, rethinking a lot of ideas, clouded judgment. Uh, you guys could be dealing with a, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius where you're just going back and forth with this other person. So you don't even really see uh, this faded meeting getting ready to take place. Um, wow. Clarify on this Queen of Keys. Whether it's male or female, it doesn't matter. That's just the energy they're coming up as. Yep, movement. We have this beautiful movement and the progress over here. This person is also recovering from a lot of um, things that were going out, um, going on within their lives. But they have made back, a, they've had a major comeback. They could have had some kind of loss or financial loss going on within their lives or feeling like they weren't building in their career the way they really wanted to. Um, it could even be because of COVID too, guys. A lot of people, you know, shock and horror of that. We all know this. So they may have had, you know, some loss there. Um, but they've made a lot of improvements and they've just been moving, moving, moving. Yeah. Clearing boundaries, making direct communication. There's going to be a lot of direct communication between you and this person as soon as you guys, you know, really get together. Um, I also feel like the King of Wands could also be yourself in some ways because, you you know, you're a natural born leader and a fire sign. Uh, clarifying on the Queen of Roses itself is the Two of Cups. Yeah. Beautiful soulmate connection. There it is with the connection. Um, this is mutual attraction. This is someone that's going to catch your eye. It's very healthy. It's divinely set up. <clears throat> planning on the Akashic field over here. We have the planning progress and making the decisions. Here they come waiting for your, it's almost like you're waiting for your ships to come in. It could be kind of like making a decision though, when they, when they come in, like I said, you could be waiting for them. It could be living at a, quite a distance. So it could be a long distance as well as you're kind of looking at the world over here. I find the bird's nest. It's almost like as soon as all of the bird's nest, all of the bird's nest mess on both sides are taken care of. This is why. And I feel like you're both getting past that. Yeah, here comes the speedy, speedy action. 
here comes everything. It's almost like as soon as you start soul searching and you start, you know, getting everything that you need done, you're going to have a lot of introspective, you're going to have a lot of wisdom, and then all of a sudden, boom, here comes this message, here comes this run in, but everything is moving at fast pace right now. Everything's swiftly done. It's almost like you're manifesting. You may have thought it was going to take much longer, um, but maybe it has been taking a long time, but now it's rapidly moving faster, 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 and it's coming right out you, right? And I think a lot of you were in hermit mode. I think a lot of you have been trying to gain clarity and understanding to what's going on um, within your little, you know, home area of your life, right? Um, yeah. Because, yeah, it looks like some of you have had a lot of competition, rivalry, conflicts, a lot of things going on, a lot of tension. Like I said, even if it's a nasty divorce or breakup or however it is, but now you have the lover's card coming in on the Queen of Keys is saying this is where the harmony and the relationship, this is a very highly passionate, sexual, um, aligned, deep love is coming together. Right? Wow. This is going to bring in the world, a completion. This is what you're looking for, the whole, you're looking for the whole, uh, kind of like the whole uh, enchilada over here, and it's kind of like, that's what the world's giving you. That's what the universe is giving you. Everything that you want. Some of you might even be traveling. I have travel, travel, travel. So they may even be traveling toward you by air. Um, like I said, from a long distance. Um, this is the endings or the new beginnings. This is where transformations come in. You guys may have also, you know, transformed a lot, done a lot of work on yourself. Um, yeah. Coming in as the high priestess. So a lot of intuition and a lot of knowledge coming through this, a lot of divine trust that's, you know, I feel like a lot of you had to go through a lot of things, a lot of change, a lot of ways you're, you're doing things, thinking about things, um, right? And then bam, there it is, right? You have the victory. So however it is, this person actually sees you um, as kind of like, wow, you know what? The love of their life, I, I don't know, it's kind of crazy, but you do have the sun, so this is where the happy days and the happy times come in, this is where you're going to have, this person is a lot of fun and a lot of joy and a lot of warmth, um, I think it's because, you know, I just feel like there's a lot of fighting and a lot of things that were going on over here where it just feels very cold, very um, non-communicative, like there's no communication, it's cold, it's arguing, there's just not enough love, enough joy, and you know, enough nurturing. And it's almost like this person is going to bring all of this back to you over here, Leo, where you're going to feel like you're getting your Ace of Pentacles. You're going to feel like this is the gift. And it is. It's a gift from the universe. The universe is giving you a gift. It's like you've grown so much in love, but whatever you were dealing with before just could not give it to you, right? And you know that it's almost like this contract's over. I have, you know, and a new contract is made. A new soul contract is made. And here it comes. Just for you. Just for them. Right? Yes, absolutely. 11, 11. Look at that. Look at that. And you're at the milestone. And you know. And I think that a lot of you felt like you've been at a milestone for a while. Like you just knew something was happening intuitively. Leo is actually a very intuitive person um, for fire signs. Um you know, they just, they, you know, you just feel it. You definitely know. And I do feel like you know that there's something big coming, you know. And um, I think that's where a lot of the tension also was coming from within yourself. Um, just knowing that, you know, if I, if I do this, I have enough, I have enough courage and enough self-will, enough self-love. I know something is coming, something bigger, something better. And that's why I really do believe, guys, that the King of Wands really is yourself more than the other person. Um, because I really think that this is the role that you've really put yourself into. Right? Overcoming a lot of challenges, but knowing and being focused on this bigger picture and really knowing. Now, I do feel like the other person could hold some of these, though, because I do feel that, you know, they're entrepreneurs, they're self-made. But so is the King of Wands as well, right? Um, as the... Uh, and this uh, Queen of Keys is, is the Queen of Swords. Um, so you could be dealing with, uh, I have so many signs here. Um, let's just say you could be dealing with anyone. Because <laughs> I have almost everybody up here. 
Um, so I'm not even going to go there with who it could be. Um, I do feel one thing. I do feel like the person you are dealing with may definitely be, um, I will say this, have a lot of fire in their chart or be an air sign or have a lot of air in their chart. I'm going to say that. And then I have cancer twice. But I'm not going any further than that. But because I do feel this fiery, um, this fire and air element that's up on the board, it really does really uh, play a part up here. So whether it's their rising or, you know, their sun, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> but yeah, definitely having the Queen of Cups coming out as the compassion. But this is what you really need. You know, you need someone who's more compassionate, somebody who's more caring. Right? This person's also very intuitive like yourself. And that's a very good thing. Right? But uh, you, I, I feel like this, you know, this is really good for you. You need someone who has loyalty, who's loyal to you, who doesn't play mind games. Leos don't need mind games, and they definitely need someone loyal. Loyalty's huge. Trust. Loyalty. I can't trust you, and you're not loyal to me. We're not going to make this, right? So, so the universe says, here, I got somebody for you. I've got a soulmate coming in for you who's who's perfect for you. Wow. That's so beautiful. Wow. Nate, you know, this person that you're with, you know, they could be in the public eye, right? Or maybe you are in the public eye. Someone's definitely in the public eye for some of you. A kangaroo, be a force for good. There you go. Be the force for your own good. Okay. And be the snake. Live according to your divine essence. Which I feel like you kind of already are in your own way because, you know, it's almost like you intuitively went in and said, you know, I just, I feel something else is going on within my life. It's bigger, grander. There's something more grand that's going to happen. Um... Right? And if you're not feeling that, I feel that you will really start feeling that, you guys, um, within the next couple of days. Because you're going to feel this, um, especially after this new moon, that something is pulling you into a certain direction. You know, you might get some message and you might be, you know, drawn to go to your phone and, you know, who is this writing me? You see what I'm saying? Um, or drawn to the coffee shop for whatever reason. You're like, I don't even really want Starbucks today, but for some reason I think I want Starbucks. I don't know why. I don't know. But I guess I'll go get it. And then boom, there they are. Do you see what I'm saying? So however the divine is doing it, whatever weird pulls you're having, even when you're like, I don't know if I really want that, I just take it. Take it. Because you know what? You know in intuitively and instinctively, you're going to be there anyways. You're going to tell you, I don't even know why the hell I'm here. I don't even know why I'm doing this. And then there it is, right? There it is. There they are. What the heck, right? Or they walk into your office and they're like, I'm here to fix the air conditioner. And you're like, you start talking to them. You don't know why they're talking to you. And you start talking back. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, <laughs> right? Why am I so drawn to you? Yeah, it's really... That's exactly how it's going to be, though. It's going to be just something like that. Unless you have manifested them and you know who they are, then here they come, man. Right? It's like, here they come. I've been waiting for them to message me forever. Uh, I think I'll message them now. <laughs> Look at that. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Divine. Look at that. Divine counterparts. Wow. And both, and you know, and I love it both because it's both talking about how you both, you know, are ready to succeed. You both, you know, are always are climbing that ladder. You as, you know, this self focused on my career, they're focused on their career. And then you're going to come up as the money couple. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yep. Okay, guys. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.